The land down under could soon be known for something else. Government research revealed last summer that young Muslims there were more at risk of being lured into militant Islam than any other Western country. When he was Prime Minister, John Howard took a combative stance against radical Islam and urged Aussies to remain vigilant. Vigilant against incendiary outbursts like these by Sheikh Fez Mohammed, formerly of the Global Islamic Youth Center near Sydney. We want to have children and offer them as soldiers defending Islam. Teach him this, that there is nothing more beloved to me than wanting to die as a mujahid. That got Howard's attention, as did others concerning the treatment of women. The leading Islamic cleric of Sydney, former Grand Mufti Sheikh Taj Din El Hilali, suggested that an Australian rape victim deserved her attack because she left her home without covering her head. He said, quote, uncovered meat is the problem. Some Muslim community leaders expressed outrage at Hilali's remarks, but that didn't stop the Sheikh from voicing contempt for Australians and their culture. The most dishonest and unjust people are Western people, and the English in particular. Listen to me. Anglo-Saxons came to Australia in chains, while we Muslims paid our way and came in freedom. We are more Australian than them. People leave their home countries because they think Australia is a better place to live in. And unfortunately, what happens right now is people who come here try to change this country to the place where they come from. Pastor Danny Nalia moved to Australia from the Middle East 10 years ago. I think the immigration policy has to be tightened to find out, get people understanding that people who come here should adapt to the country and become part of Australia. The Australian government took steps to do just that. Last year, it began requiring a 20-question test for people applying for citizenship. It remains to be seen if new Prime Minister Kevin Rudd will continue or expand the tougher immigration policy. Pastor Daniel Scott is a Pakistani immigrant and a lecturer on Islam and the Quran. So why does he think some Muslim immigrants have difficulty assimilating into Australian society? He says Islam prohibits them from embracing a non-Islamic culture. And Quran is the holy book of Muslim people in uh, uh, Surah 3 verse 28 that Muslims should not befriend non-Muslim and uh, it says uh, Allah says that if they will befriend non-Muslim Allah will cut them off from himself. Scott suggests that can lead to Islamic enclaves, isolated neighborhoods and communities within a secular society. They become potential breeding grounds for Islamic extremism. They're places where lessons of hatred and anti-Semitism for Muslim youth can flourish. Like these comments, again from Sheikh Fez Mohammed. This preacher will say O oh, Muslim, behind me is the Jew, come and kill him. They'll be all of them, every single one of them. Those remarks came of no surprise to Scott. Surah 98, verse 6, it says, people of the book, that means Jews and Christians, are Shar al the most wicked, the most evil of all creatures. So what do Muslims think of their treatment in Australian society? This is one of the largest mosques in the Melbourne area. We talked to one of the head imams, he wouldn't appear on camera, but off camera he told us that the Muslims here are non-political. We do not get involved in politics here, not at all. But this young Muslim approached us to offer his opinion. He said he doesn't believe Muslims can speak openly in Australian society. You can get in trouble basically. Like, you be arrested. It depends what you say and who, who you stand up for, you know? Yeah. Like, a simple example, the um, war between Israel and Hezbollah. Our discussion was interrupted by a mosque elder who took the young man inside for prayer. After prayer, yes. go see the yes. leaders of the mosque, okay. not the followers, because some people don't have as much knowledge as others. Perhaps leaders like Sheikh Fez Mohammed. The, the peak, the pinnacle, the crest, the highest point, the pivot, the summit of Islam is jihad. Gary Lane, CBN News, Melbourne, Australia.